Why don't we do our warrant review, our warrant review and sign our warrant review right now? So we'll uh, start with. Uh, why don't we start with uh, Article 34, the sale of Zaturka Park? Okay, if we got my park and rec uh, the commission uh, met and discussed given the changes from North County Hall and the, um, issue, the petition for Montgomery Rose that the uh, sale of Zaturka Park might be best served coming up with perhaps the fall town meeting when there isn't quite as much activity on parcel sale and movement. So we were uh, at this point looking to defer till the fall. Okay. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. All right. So why don't we uh, actually uh, let's talk about Article 16, uh, asbestos abatement and additional costs. In the building committee? Yes. Um, so I, I, the biggest issue that we're faced is this additional $82,000 and where we might be able to get that. I know that we're short of free cash and, and other ways of um, paying for this. I would like to suggest that we could sit down with CPA and discuss this with them. In my opinion, this is not a um, maintenance item. This is about a floor that's 55 years old that has it's beyond its lifespan and I would hope that we would be able to get this money through some type of CPA funding. So if we do that we'd have to wait to fall town meeting so we're going to put the, the project because the CPA has already submitted their articles. It, they, they can't reopen? Would you request well, well, Can they do it in three weeks? So the uh, Tim and I had a chance to talk about the timing on this, and it's entirely up to you as to when you how how late into the season do you want to go before you sign the warrant. Um, the last day to do so would be April 29th. If in between uh, the municipal building committee can work with the historic commission and CPA to raise the additional funds for this project, um, we still have. We still have time to bid this out and do the work. We talked about this in the department head meeting. Maybe not in Jul uh, late July as we had envisioned, but the first part of August. That still works for the department heads. Uh, the problem is that timing is paramount on this with regard to uh, when we can do it, with when it works well with the departments and with weather. We can't. You know, we're going to, if we wait until winter, it doesn't work with all the departments, and it, it's, it's an added cost, because we have to shut down the uh, heating system for this type of work, it will take. This annual or next annual, but not fall, is what you're saying? Yeah, we'd like to try to see this if annual. we can, I, I hope we can get your support with the CPA and, and tell them, look, this, this is what the, Perception from a lot of people was what, what this money was for was to, to help with the renovation of these buildings. So I mean, hope that we can work something out. It is again, it's not a maintenance item. Well, Tim, all they can do though is, is adhere to the actual CPA regula regulations. I mean, and, and give an interpretation. Have you even run it by Edwin or anybody at this point? Or? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. <coughs> We had one individual, uh, Mr. Fitzgibbon says it wasn't because it was a maintenance problem. I talked to Mr. Matusko the other day, and he said the best thing for us is to bring it, fill out the paperwork and bring it to the full board and explain the situation with them because he's uh, under the same opinion as Mr. Fitzgibbon was. So uh, there, our last ditch would be to bring it to the board, so CPA. Okay, but their, their initial reading is that it would not be allowable. That's right. Why? We, we can confirm that with CPA in Boston. I mean, they tell us what, what's in and what isn't. Correct. I mean, so a telephone call down the, Absolutely. the state CPA board will let us know. Correct. You, you do could do that for us, Howard. 
Edwin. I'll I'll call Ed, Edwin and see what if we can Once do that. Next meeting, so we don't have a next meeting. I don't no. think we no. stopped our meeting a month ago because we've gone through Is all the applications. Way that you can have another meeting. Uh, that's for him to call. He's okay. the he's the chair. But. I mean, all we're looking is <coughs> we're short funded. This has turned out to be a fiasco. Okay, so I think we're okay with this. Um, but do we have a plan B? We can leave this on the agenda. We can take a position. They can work it out, and if we need to a town meeting, then we can pass it over. So, but is this is the this is the, plan the last resort? B. Unless we take it out of free cash. What a, no, what about the money we put aside into a revolving account for Russell, for Russell School? School? You can't, you, this is not Russell, Russell School. School. Oh, just Russell School. <coughs> Unless we let Russell School go away and that money would come into free cash and then you can spend it and you can reallocate it later. That's what I'm talking about. What are your suggestions? Uh, my, suggest, my suggestion would be if you can't. If you can't do this, then we have to wait till the fall, and then you're going to put the project off another, another year. Do you think that's a wise idea? No. Let's do. Let's take then it out. Of, then what's it going to cost us in another year? Back into free cash. Well, then you're you can, then you're tying these to two articles. So that means you got to convince town meeting to let that money go into free cash, mm -hmm. and then we have to appropriate it, which we don't have an article to appropriate it. We can appropriate it from the free cash we have, and then fall town meeting, take the 96 and put it into capital. So you're, you're like, make it's a, it's a it's daisy. It's okay if there's, if there's money there. Three we stuff. need to get yeah. this floor done this summer, so then, not next year. So then the choice then, if you really want to do it this time, is we take what's left in capital and you take what's left and take a little bit out of free cash, because there's 36,000. No, 34. 34. So there's 34 in free ca in uh, the capital stabilization. And then you're taking 50, 50, right? So, so the figure that I threw in, uh, down was uh, $82,000, which is the difference between what's in your budget currently and what the estimate uh, plus the 10% contingency uh, for that project is. But I think, Tim, you were talking about a smaller number. Yeah, it's one of the, again, we can manipulate this in different directions. We have the, we threw the 17,000 back into this. We can take that out of the 50 that we've set aside for professional services. That's one of the things that we discussed many months ago. And that's where we were going to take it out initially. So when we knew that we were going to go over, we said, well, let's throw it back in and see what we can do. But we didn't realize that we were going to be short funds at the same time. So I think what I really, again, we're looking at an estimate. We are very hopeful that when we really get into getting this out, out on the streets, and that would be hope that we can do tonight, is get your vote to get this out on the street. Could very <coughs> well be that the price is going to be a lot less than what the estimate is. So, you know, we have so many variables. But I think the time frame is critical. I mean, if we don't do it now, we're going to be off another year. It's going to be a lot more money. And it is, it's getting to be a health issue when you start looking at under this. But from, the, from our standpoint, we just have to appropriate the money. So, so if we have altern, alternate ways of funding this. So the, really the other issue is if we bid and the bids come in higher and we're above our appro they're above our appropriation, the well, project is the, it's off. We yeah. all understand. Okay. Yeah. So we will like, have to. So, so, so then, if we you want to move it along, then if we take the seventeen thousand for mm -hmm. this for the professional services out of the professional services money we gave, right. then we're down to sixty-five thousand. We take so thirty-four out of capital, and then it has, the rest has to come out of free cash if we want to move this project along. Well, we to reduce that. the overhead too. We'll I, I, would, I would rather use what we have already appropriated instead of having to tie in the daisy chains. Because yeah. there's well, no guarantee. There's no guarantee. Can. People could just bust the daisy chain and the project's dead. I know, and at this point, Tim, you, you said that they felt pretty confident with just the $49,000 yes. override right now. Yes. Over budget or whatever you want to call it. Yes. Okay. You, you, over the estimate. Right. 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 So, right. so, so right. Right. that's, that's 51. All right. No, it's 49. So 34. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to recommend approval of this article, yeah. taking 34 
thousand out of capital stabilization, and the remainder out of professional services. Free cash. Oh, Lynn, how much was in that capital? Thirty-two. There was only, I think, thirty-four left. Yeah, thirty-four. I thought it was thirty-two. <coughs> So, 17 from. Yeah, we'll still pursue the CPA. We're taking 65,000. Mm -hmm. Right. That's 65,000 broken down to 34 from capital stabilization yeah. and the remainder from free cash, which my brain just fell, failed in doing that simple math. I apologize. Okay. What's so that number from free 000? cash? 31. Okay. So, is there a second? Second. Any more discussion? Yes. So if, if we are going to, uh, if we're going to pursue CPA funds, if it looks like this is going to be a CPA project, um, but, you know, if it has a pulse, let me know because I have to change the wording of the article. Uh, all right. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. All right, um, building repairs, $200,000. So this is a request to take $200,000 of money we don't have and put into something we very much need to do, but we don't have money to do right now. Did I sum that up right? Yes. I apologize for being snarky. <laughs> I, I really apologize for being snarky, but that's kind of, we need to do this, but we don't have the funds to do it right now. So do we want to take money from somewhere and start this, or do we want to... A recommendation from the Finance Committee, if there were, there's been a request submitted to us, I don't know if you heard it last week or not. Okay, no, can we have not. that explained to them so they, they may have not an idea or stuff? You're not going to get it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice to know what, what some of these things are before we're asked to vote on them. I completely agree. But if it was proposed to you so that you understood what, it, what what they were looking for and why they were looking for it, we could again begin to work, work this into so the matrix. why don't we have the building committee to explain it to us one more time? Okay, well, I was the one that uh, proposed it. And we gave the uh, selectmen a uh, number of months ago of uh, metrics that showing the repairs that we're planning on doing to some of these towns' buildings, i.e. the uh, senior center. Uh, third floor. Uh, hopefully we can get the mold out of there and fix the hallway going up and fix the walls that are open, the toilet that we never have money for and haven't had in three years. Uh, things like that. <clears throat> so, you know, in the matrix outside of the critical needs one that we've been working on has a number of products there, you know, and it, you should have a copy of that so I'm not going to bore you with all of them. Uh, and we figured that with the $200,000 we can start once we finish with the critical needs, uh, which will probably this was like, in the winter time. Yeah. We like the out. second phase of your your second, three third, three second. step plan that you had yeah. for repairs yeah. to all the municipal mm -hmm. buildings. The, the right. the and also. what had happened was over the years, as we just talked about an hour and a half ago, when we do go and cut, start cutting, what had happened over the last 10 years or 15 years. Wherever the maintenance was in their budgets was where it was cut. Obviously, there was no people cut. There were no jobs cut. There was no equipment cut. They were finagling their budgets to get it to the bottom line, where it was level funded at for years and years and years. Okay. And we're, so, so yeah. are, do we want to uh, do we want to put any money into this? From where? That's, there's no money. I mean, I think it's a good idea. It's an excellent. I'm not opposed to the concept. It, it's something that, uh, and I mean, we're not asking for that, <coughs> excuse me, right now, but in, if we should have some spare money this fall, um, that comes maybe pennies from heaven, you know, we can uh, then say, oh, all right, we got this came in, uh, let's give it to the department so that they can fix that. We got, uh, one of the main things we want to do over there at the senior center is we have heat pipes that go up in the wall and <coughs> should be radiators that are up in holes that are on running all the time. We've got to cut a hole in the wall, get in and take the old radiators out that are just 
running full bill apps all the time, not eating nothing but the outside. So, right. you know, these are things. And that, that might be more than a, a $200,000 price tag when you start moving pipes and well, radiators. No. We understand yeah. the concept yeah. that it, these things have to be done and you know, I think well, going to the fall, yeah. if you're willing to wait see, yeah, well, see the, what the, the pot of gold is so, in the fall. So we're looking yeah. at dismissing it for annual town meeting. Correct. Yeah. Well, that I, okay? I, that's that's fine if you, I mean, I realize you know, there's just so much money, but these are little things that have to be done and like I said, that radiator joint we found is, it used to be in the second floor, but they Pushed it in, closed it, so it's just hanging there. Okay, so, so this is something that we're looking to dismiss what? this from annual town meeting. Yes. Yes. So do we want a motion on that? I'll make a motion that we dismiss this from annual town meeting. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor. Aye. 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 Regretfully. But yeah. what I what I would ask though is that Can when be, this comes work. back yeah. in the fall, that well, it be accompanied with a very specific work plan. We will do that. We, oh yeah. Well, it's, it's part of the matrix. Okay. No, we, we, it's, it's all. It's all part part of the original <coughs> program you guys put together. Yeah. So let's do Article Thirty Five, Tax and Tax Regulations. Okay. So uh, the chief and I talked about this was briefly. It's under review by council. Um, Is this cookie yeah, cutter? This uh, we borrowed this from Amherst. Uh oh. No. That's why it doesn't sound right. I haven't even read it. See, that's why I heard it. I figured Please continue. Please continue. Okay. So as I, as I said before, this thing, uh, uh, this uh, bylaw arose because of a need that developed after this office received a number of complaints about uh, uh, passengers and taxi cabs. Taxi cabs operate out of Northampton and Amherst, and they provide uh, transportation from those two places to Hadley. They also provide service within Hadley from a uh, pickup spot in Hadley to a destination in Hadley. Uh, under the Mass General Law, you're allowed to, each town is allowed to promulgate regulations that would uh, uh, help and um, uh, control uh, behavior of taxi cab companies that uh, uh, might be predatory or might be just uh, in some way harmful to, to people. So um, when we receive these complaints of uh, excessive fares or fares that didn't seem to um, be consistent from one week to the next uh, or the lack of identification of the taxi cab uh, drivers, uh, we looked at our bylaws and found that we had absolutely nothing on the books that would regulate taxi uh, uh, businesses within the town of Hadley. So uh, borrowing from the town of Amherst and changing it to uh, uh, meet Hadley's needs, uh, we put together these rules and regulations for use and operation of taxi businesses. Um, at this point, it's under review by legal. It's up to you. It's, what is your pleasure? I think the last time we had asked um, for Chief Mason to take a look at this use of the two of you got together. Chief, do you have any comments on it? I, um, I would agree with David. Um, we, we looked at it, and I know there were some concerns raised at the meeting with regards to licensing and things like that. And, uh, the, the taxis I, now are under the uh, law of the Department of Public Utilities. Is that correct for the state? <coughs> I, yes. I so have those complaints been lodged with the state, with the DPU? Yes. Those are the people that regulate the rates. And uh, the answer that comes back is that it depends on what uh, regulations are in, in effect in, in each city and town. And right now we have not. So they can't enforce our regulations is what they're saying? Well, if we don't have regulations, they can't enforce them. Their regulations are to follow what our regulations are? Uh, that's right. Each <coughs> city and town has the ability to adopt uh, bylaws and regulations regulating taxes. Well, why don't we adopt the DPU regulations to start with and then adjust from there instead of taking the town of Amherst, which pro probably don't match anything <coughs> that we really want. If the board would like to defer this to the fall town meeting, that's yeah. fine with me. I'd like to do a little bit more research well, on that. I will, I will tell you that if this is Amherst, then this is what was written by Kaufman and Page, which is also our attorney. So if we defer to the town meeting, you're not going to get anything different than what you pretty much have here if they tweak it a little bit. It's going to be the 
so it's it's from not the guy who used to stand up there with the gavel. This thing's a nightmare. It's it is. Could, could I just hear the rest of what Chief Mason's response was? Yeah, essentially, I was just going to say that because of that concern. David and I looked at it, and that's why I really preferred to have it looked at by town council first. Mm -hmm. uh, it just felt like the safest way to go before we really got into it as far as our, our own personal regulations as far as well, the town goes. I'll just, I'll just share with you the, uh, the one of the complaints that I received, that somebody was uh, picked up at Hopkins Academy and driven to uh, the, uh, the elementary school, and that fare cost $25. <laughs> Well, like I said, the, the DPU has the regulations on it, and I'd really let, do you have that in writing of what they actually do? They, they, they've got to stand behind a law. So I guess I'm hearing you, we want to let the lawyers look at it until fall town meeting? That would be fine with me. All right, is there a motion? So we're going to dismiss it to fall town meeting? Yeah. Is there a second? Second. <laughs> Were there David, many complaints, David? Yeah, they, they, they come and go. It seems like that, uh, that uh, people who use it uh, get fed up with the service and find other ways of, uh, of avoiding the, some of the practices that we keep on hearing about. Okay. okay, so the last one before the big dive is Article 8, 15, FY15 budget adjustments. So that is now $91,000. All right, so there are, I believe, five adjustments to the FY15 budget um, that we're asking you to contemplate. Uh, the first one is the police expense budget, an increase of $5,070. And this is because uh, we um, uh, entered into a grant agreement, which we thought was a 100% reimbursable. And it turned out to be a 75% uh, reimbursable grant. Um, there was a 911 equipment grant for communications, mm -hmm. and um, if we could restore $5,070 back into the police department budget. Second one is the police overtime. We're estimating that uh, to the end of the fiscal year, there's going to be a shortfall of $20,000 in the police salary line. Uh, so we're asking for a uh, uh, $20,000 increase to that line in order to uh, take us to the end of the fiscal year. Um, snow and ice, uh, the snow and ice uh, uh, shortfall uh, is not entirely addressed by this uh, budget re request. Uh, we're going to try to transfer uh, 99 hundred dollars from uh, our overtime account which is which running in the black to the snow and supplies uh, snow supplies and ice um, uh, shortfall uh, so and then an additional forty two thousand dollars three hundred uh, from free cash in order to cover that shortfall uh, so we have a uh, we have in the snow and ice we have <coughs> Um, over time, which we have not used, and we've overrun on materials. So that's the total of the 91? Uh, 42, 300 plus the, the 91. 42, 300 plus 91. Mm -hmm. so, we'd, so we'd be transferring from the surplus to the 90, $9,900 to cover a shortfall. And then the remainder of the shortfall to be covered by 42,300. Then health insurance. Um, looking at the uh, activity and projecting that to the end of the fiscal year, we had thought that this would be a $20,000 shortfall. We're now thinking that it's going to be a $15,000 shortfall. The activity in the health insurance account occurred. Um, early in the year when we had a lot of people going from single or uh, two purpose and plans to family plans with the addition of babies to their uh, families as well as changes in the larger employment uh, picture where people were losing benefits and they were transferring over to the town benefits. So we think that we're okay for 16, 
about 15, we think that there's a $15,000 shortfall. And then Medicare, an increase of $8,739, and this is uh, based upon uh, total payroll. So that's the 91-109? Yep. So the 20 is actually a 15 even, and then eight, Medicare's 8,007? 739. <coughs> 739. And I have it. I have it over. Yeah, no, I just added it. Right. And the right. treasurer? Uh, no, we don't need that in the treasurer. We had thought that uh, we would need something there when we were looking at uh, temporary employees from temp agencies, and we didn't go that route, so we don't need to go there. Uh, we also have a waterline uh, adjustment uh, transferring. Uh, 11,257 from the water reserves to the FY15 water budget. Uh, this is a reimbursement from the town of Sunderland associated with the Shattuck Road project, and that reimbursement went directly to the reserves and not to the operational budget. Okay. So, is there any discussion about this article? 91,000. 109 from our certified free cash. This is coming from the 200. Um, did you do the roll forward of the free cash, like the spreadsheet that shows if the articles get voted? Yes, I did. I thought I said it. Is that in here? Uh, it should be in your book. Uh, I didn't see there, it. there you go. Okay. Which one is that on? It's um, in the Tri section with the tripod. So okay, so this is the FY. 2015 adjustment. So yes. 91, 10, oh, and no, it's been the 11. So. Yep. Okay, so that's what's. There it is. And we took out the committee <coughs> 200. So right now, the only thing that we're taking from the certified free cash is this 91109? Uh, you also just decided that you were going to take some money out of um, free cash to fund the uh, asbestos project. 31,000. 31, so that should go in here. Oh. So we've got 291 is our starting point? Mm -hmm. 292. Any more discussion about this one? Do you want to make a motion? Pretty much something we have to do. It's leading the witness. <laughs> we spent it already. Um, I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the 91,109 total line item changes to the FY15 budget as presented. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So that leaves us 77,000. 171. 171. 373. All right, so are you two here for anything else? I'm going to number nine. Number so, number nine. It's just for you to uh, sign the uh, joint proclamation and appoint me as your emergency response coordinator for the repo plan. Okay. Is there any discussion about this? So move. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, it's in the revised agenda. What revised agenda? The one that 
Let's post it in one day. This should be it. Did you pass out the very biased agendas? No. We did. Was it the last evening? Nothing else after that. That's all right. There must be an eight, though, because mine is there at seven. There is. H at record retention policy. So, if we want to finish. If we want to close out the Warren article discussion, we're ready to go back into the omnibus budget. Mm -hmm. If we're ready. Okay. So the last thing we have to do is go back to the warrant review and figure out our budget that we're going to submit. <coughs> So our number is um, 56717. Half of that. Right? No, half of it. Oh, half of it. Yeah. yeah 56. 20, oh, it's 283558 50 cents. 20, what was that? 28? 283558 50. 50. Oh, 59. Suggestion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, right now we fund a portion of CB5 out of the general fund. Uh, you could switch that all entirely over to the um, to the uh, charter gift account. How much would that be? Well, we have we have uh, a lot of money in that account right now. No, oh, how much? I'm going to look at oh, okay. it for you. Okay. Sorry. Anxious. <laughs> What's the line item number? Line it's item is uh, how much? Uh, just after the enterprise funds, it's in human services. Cable TV, it's 16300 it looks like. Yeah. Take it out of some overtime accounts. What about the health insurance? How hard a number is that? We just added a police officer too. Is anybody taking that into account when we upgraded the overtime accounts, or was that just done on the history of having a light force? Yeah, it was history. Yeah, yeah that should that should reduce your overtime. Mm -hmm. Uh, dependence on overtime because you don't have to be filling that open shift with overtime. By sixteen thousand dollars over the course of the year, we just allocated twenty thousand for it, right? Yes. Is ten available out of there? Reasonably. I guess that depends entirely on the success of your contract negotiations. This is driven right. a lot by your contract. I don't know. Well, well, we'll have I to hold do that now. Um, on the health insurance line item? Yeah. If we're Sorry. looking for another, what? 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. The health insurance fiscal year does not line up with the mm -hmm. house fiscal yeah, year. Yeah. So you've got a three year you've got a three month period on the other end mm -hmm. that you don't know, and then you've got open enrollment in February. So you get a lot of moving parts here. What about workman's account? We are ready to touch that I think. Thank you. Well the other one is on is a twenty five thousand pound employment, take a little bit out of there. You could. I would take it out of unemployment right Before health insurance. insurance. Okay. You want to take the twelve out of there? Yeah. How much? Twelve thousand. Oh, so we're cutting that. So we're cutting it down to thirteen thousand instead of twenty-five. Okay. So that's unemployment. Yep. Well, wait a minute. We could take it out building maintenance. <laughs> that was just a joke. <laughs> bad joke. Bad joke. I'm ready to get you. I met that. I met that. So that, that wraps that. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're talking about buildings, there's North Hadley Village Hall. You can pick up $20,000 right quick. We probably won't be through with it, though. No. We only, we 
think we'll be able to... Although we're moving, we're moving ahead with it. I mean, we should have the historic restrictions back soon. And everyone, I think, is OK with what the parameters are for, or what the review yeah. criteria yeah. is for the RFP. So it should be out on the street before the end of this year. And it won't help us right now. No, we'll have to about next year. So then we right. cut that in half, mm -hmm. knowing that we might be out of the building by the middle of December. Or by the end of December. By December, so we don't have to hate it. You're only talking about the main issue. That haven't even said anything about the heating bill. Well, that's, yeah. what, that's what the 20,000 is for, is for heating. You, that's been under um, public safety, the heating part of it, mm -hmm. right? It's split. It's split between yeah, public safety. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, are we comfortable with what we did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. All those in favor of what we did? Uh, so it's 16 out of TV5 and 12 out of unemployment? Correct. Yep. All right. And it's being so refunded out of the uh, balance charter. from charter. Okay. It's not being reduced at all, Richard. Yeah. Yeah, so you're going to be funded entirely 100% out of the charter gift account. Yeah, for sure. For this year. So the line item still going to stay. Mm -hmm. There's still Correct. a line Correct. It will show zero. It's See what happens when you walk out of the room? <laughs> <laughs> we thought we should have somebody who's here, so at least they know. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, so that's what we're going to propose mm -hmm. is our budget. Correct. Oh, okay. And then we're proposing that the budget of the school just be reduced by that. Their line item be reduced by the other half. 28, 358, 50. 50. Yeah. Correct. We're going to use 55,000 of free cash. 55,000 of free cash. Okay. Certified free cash. Yeah. Not big enough, so we'll work that out for so that's an easy change to get to that, everybody? What I'll do is I'll make the changes tomorrow and just circulate them so that uh, everybody has a chance to make with, sure. With the right date at the top of the paper. With the correct oh, did, yeah. did, did, he get, it was, did he get that email or not? He did get that email. I sent it out personally. He personally told you he got that email? Or we're yeah. assuming that he did and it was the wrong date on it? It may, it may have been a, the wrong date. I don't have that particular file right here, so I would have checked it. Yeah, and I thought Linda was nodding in agreement that she received it. So. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I know I sent it out. All right. So. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah.